You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Cool. Time to go wolf hunting. But first, um, since we're going to be fighting quite a few of them, let's go ahead and switch back to the Evans repeater. So at least at that point, we'll be able to take on a bunch of them and not have to worry about running out of bullets. Also, I think we should probably stick with the semi-automatic as opposed to the pump. Uh, it's slightly more powerful and the rate of fire is good. Might be exactly what we needed. Reload speed is also a little bit better. I think the pump action is supposed to be the best one, but I don't remember. So we'll just go with that and we're good. Warwick, back to the tall trees with us. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Rufus! Hey, how's it going, Mr. Naked Mole Rat? I've missed you. Going this way now, I see. All right. Hopefully he's not on the trail of any of them rabbits. That'd be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but, yep. Shoot. You know that. How you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do. They're just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Well, hopefully you would think maybe Come after on, all man. this time. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go up, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Indeed, Mr. Marston speaks the truth. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Look, he's on to something. <laughs> In the same spot as last time, too. Stay close, Jack. You can't be tired already. No, look at What do you... It's Rufus. There he goes. He had to take a little rest. Uh-oh. Is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. <laughs> Nice. Are you, are you stuck? Go find him, Rufus. I hope he's not. Come on. Where did... Easy. Is Jack's horse gonna die again, or... There he goes. Alright. Rufus, wait for us! Slow down! <laughs> go get him, boy! Slow down! Go get him! Sending lots of mixed signals there, Jack. And John. Alright. We have to be close. It's near one of the cabins that we find them all. He found them. Oh, never mind. Maybe over here. All right, so let's get a couple of uh, shots in while we still can. Ooh, that lock-on did not work. So two. We got to kill them all in the nick of time. Oh, there's a couple coming this way. That's not good. This is why you get the shotgun. Oh, did I miss one? All right, let's see. No, 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 don't you dare. Whoo, not today, not to Warwick. All right, son, I'm gonna need you to look away for a second here. Um, oh, wow. I, oh, I guess we did buy some stuff back at Manzanita. All right, let's go with the chewing tobacco. Come on, Rufus, where are the others, boy? <laughs> it's like, on. I'm only a dog. <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> Yeah, there's two packs we gotta take care of, and the other one's not too far behind. Although, they're in the pack as they were before. Let's go. Maybe this might work out in our favor. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't backfire, literally. 
Um, you good, Rufus. Oh, oh. <laughs> Turning around. It's like, wait, I fucked up. I'm only a dog and I fucked up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's getting close. Yeah, because I think these guys are even close to the water. You can find him, Rufus. Yep, just keep on encouraging him. Tanner's Reach. This is what I was talking about. This little place. Some hoodlums like to hang out. Alright. That'll show up on the map eventually. Slow up. Slow up. Ooh. What do you smell, boy? It's a very convoluted route to get exactly where we were five seconds ago. There we go. There they are. Oh. Come on, son. All right. Uh, that's not gonna work. Shit. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So, oh, there's one right there. Too close. I hope I don't fuck up Warwick. They're attacking. Go down. There he is down there. All right. Um, shock and rain time. Oh, excuse me. Okay. No, they're not dead yet. I fell off Warwick. He's not dead. Um, or she's not, rather. Thank God. Also, that guy just survived a shotgun blast to the chest. I'm sorry, Warwick. We should head back now. We got out further than I thought. We are way further out than we thought. How many did we kill? They will be after our cattle for a while. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? Are you gonna mount back up, Tom? <laughs> he said that in the exact oh, same way. Man, cowboy, you ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, uh, please, Bob. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your mother to cook. Oh, Load up now. That's nice. Bob, can I ask you something? Of course. Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe. But I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. No. And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. Paul, my horse is the Easy. Guy. I don't know what you're no, saying. Be outlaws, you and me. Oh. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. What arm, Willie? That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine it, though. John and Jack Marston, those wanted men in the West. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. Hold on a moment. All right, Whoa. sorry. You'd like to speed up, that would be great. Like, he's staying a particular distance away from me. That's so weird. <laughs> then he wants... All right, I will stop there. Now you have to <laughs> stay caught up. Look at, he's not even making an effort to. This game is broken sometimes, I swear to God. I'm sure there's more dialogue, but... It just seems like the game doesn't want to go through with it, so we'll meet you at home. Thank you so much for wasting our time there, Jack. As a matter of fact, aha! Just cut on through here, and um, we'll be fine. Because that's the last Jack mission before we head on to the end of the game. The legitimate end game. It's kind of great, actually. You are turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. It's kind of an odd look. You okay, Rufus? Oh, look at him and his little yawn. Oh, that was great. So, that having been all said and done, our last mission takes place here. And we have to come back between 5 a.m. and 6. Great. I bet you were just barely too late. It's like 6.45. That is fantastic. If we didn't spend all that time waiting for Jack to catch up, then I think we would have been able to make it. But, nah. 
Instead, it's supper time. Peace out, old man. I got first dibs. Haha. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head back over here. See if our ammo cache has been refilled. It has been. Thank you, wife, for filling this container with my favorite ammo supplies. And we're gonna take a quick save and um, be here in the morning, since sleeping only takes six hours apparently. <laughs> Whew, all right, rise and shine nice and early. Good for Marston to be sleeping for 12 hours straight as the sun is shining, the fire is not burning, and Rufus is making some growling noises. Did he find another rabbit? I wonder where he went. Rufus, where'd you go? Aren't you doing some stuff here? Anyways, this damn placebo over here. This would be a really nice place to eat, actually. I don't know why there are six chairs, but I guess we'll take it. Rufus, you got something to say to me? I don't know. I don't know what he's going on about. I don't see any dead rabbits around here, though, so I'm not sure you're doing your job. Anyways, now that it's morning, we can go ahead and see Uncle walking cavalierly over to the X. And Jack is nowhere to be seen. Interesting. I thought this was his mission. Right? John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man! This is my son! Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Uh-oh. That's not good. We've got to save Jack. <laughs> I can't believe it. He went out at 6 o'clock in the morning to go hunting, and I am... Oh, we're following Rufus. Um, okay. Thing is, I know exactly where he is. It's a set spot, and it's somewhere we've already been. But if we need to follow Rufus, I guess he could sniff out our own son better than we can. So let's go and uh, That's it. Good boy. follow him as well as we can. Do, do I really want to waste my time though? I'm sorry, Rufus! I'm so sorry! Oh, That was the worst noise I've ever heard in my entire life. Where is he, Rufus? Uh, if he could speak, he'd probably tell you that he has no idea. He's just following a squirrel, but... You know, it, it is Rufus. Oh, I guess he's decided to go this way now. Interesting. God, this water in this game looks so good. And where are you going? Where's Jack? That's what I want to know. I, I see where you're going, but why you're heading this way is beyond me. Okay, so we can follow this path, but essentially we're heading back up to Nikati Rock, which is where a couple outlaws like to hang out, as well as the uh, fabled spot of the final treasure, which was really awesome to find when we did. Another high point of this walkthrough I'd like to consider. But we'll go with Rufus, or maybe we'll just go up ahead. God knows I will probably forget where he is. Look at this elk up here. God, look at him go. He's like, oh, I'm going to get out of your way. Hmm. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Oh my god, that was amazing, that leap of faith. Yep, take me to the Cotty Rock, please. Good thing we already hunted that bear, Dumas, or whatever his name was. On, I think we did it with uh, with hatchets, didn't we? Something like that. But let's head up here and prepare ourselves for a fight. Damn, that don't look good. What don't look good? Do you see something? I know that, well, something bad happens, but I don't know what John saw to make him say that. Don't go flying off the edge there, Warwick. That would be amazing. Here we go, the top of Nakati Rock. No! 
Don't move! Keep your head down! And look away! Whew. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. What the hell were you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy! No, I'm not! I can skin an elk, break horses! Come on, let's get you home! Damn it, Jack. We love Hold you, tight. but uh. come on. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. You're what? What? <laughs> that was dumb. Um. Okay. What? Hold tight. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is game, I swear to God. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. God damn, Jack. Talk about ungrateful. Jeez. Such an odd turn for this character that we've only known for five minutes, but still. <sighs> Let's go! Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. But your ma and me, we didn't have what you had. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. 